bag of clips here, some spare clips from work. Hopefully they're good enough to get that on. Let's uh, jack up the car from this front point here, because we need to work on this wheel as well. And we should be able to get the side skirt in. Let's do it. Before I jack it up, I'm going to loosen off these wheel nuts. So wheel nuts up. We can get it off quite easily. So I've just jacked it up from the front there. The wheel is off the ground there. You can see we need to replace these clips. So the white ones. We've got six. Yeah. I think I only bought five. Yeah, the red ones. A little bit different, but hopefully they'll go in. And we've got the clips that go underneath into these ones. All right. So along this side, I'm putting the red ones in. I just clipped that one in and it locked in. So what I'm going to do is I'll do the two outer ones and I'll miss one of the inside ones. This one. These are actually rectangles normally. So they look in a bit better. Yeah. But the ones under here are the big boys. These ones. Yeah. That should be good. Very big. Right, I need to pop out the body side, all the white broken off ones, and we'll see how we go. <laughs> Alright, these are really brittle. I don't know if it's because it sat like this for a few months out in the sun, out in the country, but they are brittle. You can see the colour difference. They just break. I did try to get a trim tool in there, but... <laughs> oh, there we go. We got one. There's nothing to really grab onto. Whoop. There we go, we got him out. I don't know if I can take this rubber bit off and put him on the red one. <laughs> Alright, I peeled off two. We've got two on, but I don't think they're really going to do much. Um, Got to pop these broken clips out, else we won't be able to get them on. Uh, yep, there's none on that end. Everything else looks okay. I'll find the brush and I'll just clear out all this dirt. Right, let's clean out a bit. Let's get this back on the car. sure I might need the doors open maybe I don't know haven't got much room in here though uh, sorry guys I didn't need the doors open uh, I just whacked them on the red ones are clipped in this back one doesn't look like it's on properly but let's get the ones in underneath all right they're not in they're not in. Ah, oh, that one's destroyed. Damn it. Let's see if I can swap that one to that one. Alright, so I'll swap that one over to there. Now, I did push the clip all the way into the white section and it needed to be like halfway back. So that fixed it and it clipped in back here. Alright, let's get those big ones underneath. Hopefully these are, oh, they're too small, I thought these were big enough, damn it, that sucks. Alright, so I'm just going through all the other clips I've got, I haven't got any big enough, I thought that might have been fat enough, but it's not, it's still loose in there, 
Yeah. We did have two clips at the front here on this leading edge. Here and down here. So they're clipped in. So that's secured at the front. And there's a clip, a red clip there. What I might do is see. I don't know, they're pretty br brittle on this side. Might see if I can pop one, maybe two out of the other side and transfer them onto this side. So at least we've got something underneath holding it on. All right, I popped one out of the other side. These are chunky, like two separate bits. All right, let's get this one in the back and we'll see if we can get another one out on the other side all right we've got a second one out so they are a two-piece so you push that into the sill first and then you pop that in and it locks in so it took the second in on both front and back i'm going to put the the back and uh i'll tell you the second one in on the other side so the front seems pretty secure because we've got two clips here we've got the red clip there so we'll go we'll probably go midway then there's one around here somewhere all right that seems pretty secure all right all good all right, now onto the wheel. Um, I didn't tighten the nuts up properly when I took it for that first test drive, so that might have been the noise. I don't know. Didn't feel wobbly at all through the steering wheel, but it could have been. So what I might do, um, oh, I'll just punch that. I'm going to do these wheel nuts up and drop it back down and get a permit, permit on it for the next few days and we'll um we'll drive it I've got the spare wheel in the back so I'll swap that over with that one if it does sound like there's something coming from the front hopefully we can rectify that and uh, give those wheels a good clean up Maybe it is the tyres that have been sitting. I know my Skyline was pretty bad. I had flat spots on them when I bought it. Um, yeah, they were flat. So this tyre was flat too when I bought it, so it might have a flat spot on it. Good. That could be it. Alright. We'll tighten them up and uh, we'll get it for a drive during the day. Because I'll have a permit on it. Right, wheels all tightened up. Yeah, it might even be wheel alignment. Yeah, we've got a bit of camber. I thought we've got a bit of camber on all four. Alright guys, I need to fix the washers. The other day when I took it for a drive, put them on, nothing happened. The line that's across here is really brittle it just broke so all in here got wet so I've disconnected it from this right angle here some clear vacuum line I got with a boost gauge many years ago and I just got to trace it so I'm gonna have to pop out these two clips or even four clips and get in there. I have never seen it go like that before. So brutal. So from there to the first one, from there, I think there's a, a little junction thing in the middle and then to that side. It's just all brutal. So I'll replace that, put you guys on charge. We'll come back when we go for a drive. Alright, got the Liberty out. I'm just going to chuck it in the driveway. I'll get a permit on it for two days. But tomorrow, 
and Friday, drive it to work and back, and uh, see if we can find any issues. Got the spare wheel in the back. I've got the jack. I'm going to work where there's lifts and stuff, so they could pull the wheel off, check if it's balanced and round. I really do think this front one is buckled, but yeah, I'll just get it out and we'll come back tomorrow morning when we go for a drive. All right, guys, we are at the OG Harrods garage. Um, so I drove it over here, dropped the little one off. It's his birthday today. Ooh, actually, the big one. Uh, went through all six gears. Sounds good. Uh, I think the gearbox has got a bit of a whirring noise. And the front right wheel is definitely a little buckled. and can feel it at low speed. Um, I'm going to put you on my head and we'll go for a drive to work. Alright, this feels weird. Alright, seatbelts don't retract very good. Rear wiper doesn't work. Um, I don't think the rear demister works. Alright, I'll try to be quiet. Well, this morning didn't go too good. Well, here we are, I'm driving home. I've washed the car. So, looks a little bit better. I cleaned the inside on this side, but it's not the best. Um, I do think that's, that wheel is buckled. Um, so, I'm gonna swap it with the spare tonight. And I'm going to see if the 16 inch will fit on over the brakes, um, just to see if it does. Um, yeah, because I've obviously got a, a Subaru sitting there with 16s on it, with good tyres, so we'll see how we go. Maybe the wheel alignment's out, I don't know. Gear shifts feel good. Maybe it's the drive shafts. The wine is like speed related. It's not rev related. So. Ooh. Might use the coilovers. Hopefully we can remedy the noise tonight, tomorrow. It's not clutch, it doesn't disappear when. Yeah, I think this has had a bit of a hard knock in the front right because um, the bumper is off a little bit. There's damage on the wheel, it's buckled, it's got a flat spot on the inside. The side skirt was off as well. Yeah. Gearbox feels fine. Right. Let's head home. So, coming up to nearly being at home, and I just turned my head, and I can hear that noise behind me. Maybe an exhaust leak. Maybe, maybe it is. Anyways guys, check it out. Can't be an exhaust leak. It's not engine related. Speed. Oh. 
Hi guys, I watched the Liberty at work today at about three o'clock. So afternoon break and um, she already got bird poo down the side of it. All right, so pretty sure this rim is buckled. We got the spare one there and we got a spare 16. I wanna see if that fits on. I know this isn't the big Brembo's. So I just wanna see It'd be very close if it does. Probably like five mil, maybe. If that doesn't work, I'll just chuck the spare wheel on. Spare wheel looks a little buckled there too. Great. <laughs> Somebody drove this car hard, I think. Or well, not very good. I don't know. Either one. Let's jack it up, quickly change over that wheel. I'll be able to tell I clean the wheels, but not very good. Alright, let's do it. Alright, I'm going to try to get this done quick. So, just a spoon. Freaking race car. Yeah, let's see if a 16 fits. I doubt it. <clears throat> I don't think it's gonna. Sitting on the caliper. Oh. I tried. Oh, this one isn't <laughs> as bad. It's weird that it's a full size rim and um, a different pattern. Very odd. So, tomorrow I'll drive to work again and I'm not going to record it but I'll let you guys know how it goes obviously. Hopefully we can remedy the issue. Which wheels do you like better? This, this design or original? Get it down. Ah. Might um, I'll chuck the other wheel in the back. I'll see if the boys can do do something with it. They can test it. They might just need a balance, I don't know. Maybe it did get hit and the weight fell off. I don't know. I'll pump this up. Just double check that. Good. Yeah. 
and all good. I'm sure some of you guys spotted it. It's a directional one. You have to drive in reverse all the way to work. That sucks. You can only go on the left side of the car. That's not a spare wheel. This is sitting at 22 psi. But, um, see how it goes. Alright, so in the door jam it says 33. You put it up to 33 and a half and it's dropped back down to 32 and it hasn't moved for a few minutes. So we're going to leave that and see how it goes. Ten, about 10 k's I need to drive. Alright guys, I'm going to wrap this episode up here. Next episode, I'll let you know what's going on with the Liberty and what we're going to do with that H6. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time. Bye. Do that.